Hi, this is Jennifer Gonzalez for Cult of Pedagogy, and today I would like to talk to you about how to feng shui your Microsoft Word tables. Feng shui, just in case you don't know, is a this the Chinese art of arranging space for better flow and a better feeling. So I thought I would show you a couple of tricks that you can use to help you make them look a little better. Here's a table that was created in Microsoft Word, and right now it's very crowded. There's this thick bar here. A lot of the text is pushed right up against the borders of the table. The first thing I would want to do to this table would be to click on this little square here to select the whole table. And I'm just going to clean up the formatting. So I would start by, let's start by working with the font. Let's just turn all the font to something simple. We can always change it later. Let's make all the font the same size. Let's get rid of the bold. I would do the same with the italics, and I would do the same with the color. I would just choose automatic color so everything is the same color. To get rid of this thick line here, I go into borders and shading. I'm going to click on no border. That gets rid of everything. And then go back again and click on all borders. And that just returns everything to nice clean lines. Finally, I'm going to get rid of this shading for now. Go to the top of the column select the whole column and then the shading I'm just gonna click white for now I will be adding some color later but for right now let's just get it all cleaned up the next thing I notice is that the col the table itself has been moved really far over it's almost touching the edge of the page that's gonna fall off in printing so I'm gonna hover over the right edge of the column until I get this symbol here hold down my left key and slide it until we're within the one inch margin. The next thing that's really standing out to me and that's really bothering me are these bullets. A lot of times you need to have bulleted points within a table. The way that Word automatically puts them in, they shove them way over. It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have it this far over. You just don't have enough room for your text. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight one of them. Okay. If you look up here, these bars actually control where the bullets are just for this cell. If you click on the bottom square there, hold down your uh, left key, it actually slides everything over. Okay, This top here is for the bullet itself, and then these two have to do with the text. Now, we just moved the bullet over. The text moved over a little, but there's still a really big gap there that doesn't really need to be there. So I moved that by holding this bottom square. If I slide right up to that little triangle, click again, and slide, that's just going to move the text over just a little bit more. And so what we have now is a lot more space for the text, and it fits nicer inside the um, cell, and uh, it's not going to drag out so long. Okay. I've done that for one bullet. I've got a lot of other bullets. I could go through the whole process of trying to fix those, or I can use the formatting painter. Highlight this again, and you can either go up here and click Format Painter, or I'll show you another way. That changes your cursor to a little paintbrush. If I take this cursor the way it is right now and paint over another bulleted text, it's going to see, it's going to slide right over exactly like it was. So now no, you'll notice that the paintbrush is gone. Now, to get it back, just go to another piece of text that has the formatting that I want, click the Format Painter, and then I can drag it over another section, and that'll fix it. Now, an even quicker way to get that Format Painter, instead of having to go all the way up here, is to click on text that's already formatted the way you like, right click on it, and up here, you've got the Format Painter. So you can click on it right there, drag it over here. Let's see what happens if I drag both sets of bullets in this tape in this cell. Yep, they both fix. So the next issue that I'm seeing is that this text is crammed up so close against these cell borders. So I'm going to click my whole table again, select the whole thing. Up here, what I want to look for, I'm going to click on Layout. I want to click on this thing right here called cell margins. 
and that is going to decide how much room is above the top would be above the text bottom is below the text and to the left and right how much space I'm gonna just put 0 0.005 inches in each one Let's see what that does all the text is still there however now it's got some breathing room around it we talked about color a little while ago we've got the headers for this table let's go ahead and shade them I'm gonna highlight just the uh, the top row and this I believe is in the design one in the shading and just pick whatever color you like I would recommend that you go on the lighter side you could also center each of these titles if you like let's go ahead and highlight all those again click on center and now they're sort of centered above each item I'm also going to highlight this side column here because that's another sort of a marker I want to keep this one the way it was though notice that we've got these titles here along the side and they're right up against the top which is one way that you can align things it's perfectly fine and it and it's clear to your readers but there is another option if you want it to present itself in a different way I'm highlighting the whole column again I'm going to click the layout look over here these are all different options for how you would align your text it's not just left centered and right but it's also how it's distributed within the um, cell so for example if I click this it's still left aligned but it's centered top to bottom this one here in the middle centered in the center left to right and top to bottom I like that one a lot for the left hand especially if you've got a really large um, cell with a small amount of text it kind of helps this text to um, you know take precedence over the whole box instead of it just being slammed up into the top probably also want these to all be capitalized so again we don't have to go in and do that manually we can highlight the whole thing go to home click on this one here that tells you how you'd like to title it so we can capitalize each word in there so what if I need to add another column what if these four are not enough what I can do I can just be in any column or I can highlight a whole column I can go into layout and I can insert a column to the right okay I've got a whole new column now and it's notice that it's, it's picked up the formatting from the one on the left it's even got bullets here I can also undo that and I can um, insert to the left if I want to same deal here's the thing notice that it now has shoved this over to the right so see that little fuzzy box right there this is going to actually grab the side of that column and scoot it over all right now I've got too much table for my document so I'm going to slide this over here just a bit because I'm going to show you a really cool trick let's move these over just a bit so that we've got them all right I want to show you this right here called distribute columns what this does is it makes all the columns you select equal length to each other so I'm going to do this twice actually I'm going to select I'm holding down my left key and selecting all the way across and I'm going to click distribute columns makes them all even I'm still a little bit off to the mark to into the margin though so I'm going to slide this over one more time and then I'm going to distribute columns one more time there there's also a distribute rows that you can do the same thing on the sides um, the documents I work with we I don't end up using that very much but that is there let's take a, a look at these right here notice it's a it's a small amount of words it's a really really long column highlight the whole thing and we've got something called text direction here you click on that and it turns it to uh, up and down sort of uh, running up the side if you keep clicking it, it it goes in different directions so look at that now it's going up the top so what I can do is I can take this column now and I can make it much thinner and still have the information there then I can take my columns again distribute them and they've got more space let's take these and put them up real high up on there and I'm not sure this has been forced to be in its direction so you can actually grab that slide it up there we go 
You can make these position in the center too. Highlight them all. I'm going to just click that. That's still set up for um, the vertical. Okay. So I hope that learning about some of these tools will help you to improve the look of your tables in Microsoft Word. Obviously, there's a lot of other tools up here that I haven't gotten into, but by learning a few, sometimes you can experiment with others once you start understanding how everything works. So thanks for listening. Have a great day.